Paul, I'm a mad keen fisherman, and, uh, and this is my 32 foot uh, sailfish. It's a beauty as you can see. Well, the way in which I've addressed this to try and be able to fish the way I like, and 20% and of my fishing I do tend to go out on my own, only because I go at short notice. And then when you ring around, there's nobody around, so you've got to, are you not gonna go? No, <laughs> you gotta go. And so, um, mindful of that, no, that's the way I used to use my old boat as well. Uh, I just wanna make sure with a bigger boat, I've got things on board that allow me to go and do exactly that, so uh, safely. And um, so you've got two of everything on the, on the sailfish, of course, two engines, two electrical systems, two big fuel tanks. Uh, I've got two radios, obviously, is, uh, from a safety dimension. I've got uh, the man overboard system that I wear just in case, a proximity detector if I'm away, if I fall overboard, it kills the motors, so that's, that's fabulous. But I just want to try and make sure I make the most of the fun and, and the small windows that everybody has to enjoy themselves like this, but do it safely at the same time. Going through a process, I wanted a cat. I've been on a number of cats and loved the way they you know, rode, and uh, so I convinced myself I wanted a cat. I was giving up trailering, and uh, so I wasn't restricted to two and a half. Um, so I thought about the 30 foot was about right for me to still be able to manage it on my own. And uh, when I started looking at the sizes, they were a little bit narrow and not quite long enough. And that brought me sort of into the aluminium side of things, uh, where there's obviously flexibility in terms of how you, uh, how you can play with the proportions of the boat. Went to see uh, Web Marine and, um, and had a great chat with Gavin about what I wanted and he organised a trial of a 30 footer for me and uh, went out on the snottiest day, it was just horrendous was, and fortunately that customer lent us his boat but we were in some disgusting weather It just stuck our nose out the front of the harbour, off we went and I thought, and this boat handled it immaculately and I thought okay this is, a, this is a serious boat with serious capability, came back inside having a look around it um, I thought it was a great boat for my family, combination of family things that I wanted to achieve as well, as well as my fishing. Um, but the cockpit, the ratio of cabin to cockpit to me was not quite right. And so I mentioned this to, I mentioned this to Gavin and he said, well, I can put another 600 mils in the back of this one, make it a 32. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. How much is that? And, uh, and he came back with me a quote. I thought, okay, that's quite a reasonable thing. So. So that's what we did, it became a 30, became their first 32, I believe, the 3200. Uh, and I went the three metre beam because I wanted the, the real girth out, out of the two and a half metre trailer range. I uh, didn't want that anymore, I wanted more beam, more family time. You get two good families on, sized families on this boat uh, for a day on the water. And uh, yeah, it ticked a big box for me. Yeah, the customization of the boat, uh, they work with you to do that, so that's really good. It's very, um, it's very user friendly. I have to say the customer experience is, is very good in that sense. Um, so I wanted, uh, I wanted a viewing tower upstairs. So uh, Darren quickly came up with a, you know, what I call the Zimmer frame, um, which is, uh, which is fabulous. And uh, that extra elevation is really good. Already spotted a few marlin from being up there, uh, which is really good. And then I, I started working with other aspects that I wanted in particular. So I did, uh, aside from the things we talked about before about on being on my own. Um, I wanted tuna tubes down the back, I wanted the two live bait tanks, I wanted, uh, I wanted fresh water down the back, I wanted a hot water shower in the, in the rear, um, obviously there's, there's, there's fresh water down the back in the transom, there's fresh water here in the galley, um, hot and cold, and then obviously there's the shower and, and, uh, and bathroom at the front. So proceeding from, uh, from the stern to the bow, uh, you've got the walkway straight through, which is fabulous. You know, bring a fish in there, the kid's jumping off, there's a ladder tucked in, retractable ladder underneath as well. You never see it unless you use it. Um, so I put the two big 300s on it, so I went upscale there. I mean, the boat I tried had uh, 225s, Hondas. I wanted Yammies, and because uh, I wanted the Hellmaster. And, uh, and so I went to the 250s. I thought a bit more grunt would be good. And then I asked Gav, look, hey, how much is extra? I knew the motors were exactly the same weight. It's the same motor, but in a different state of tune. And he said, yeah, oh, look, it's this much per motor. I thought, actually, that's very reasonable. I'm going 300s. <laughs> and um, I don't regret that in, for a minute. This boat will do 45. And um, not many boats this size can do that. And it's not that I drive it like that. I don't. I just I can drive it easy, covering ground quickly without stressing it out. Uh, I had the um, kill tanks enlarged quite substantially here. I wanted underfloor storage, which some of the fiberglass boats can't give you. That did force a small compromise in type of the size of fuel tanks I could have. I wanted a little bit bigger. I've got 300s, which is, which is plenty. You know, I can uh, go down to Jarvis, run it down to Jarvis Bay and only use half the tank to do that. It's fabulous. Dive door, as you say, across the side has been fantastic. Cup holders everywhere. I've got downrigger bases. It's wide for electric downriggers on either side. I've got electric reel uh, capacity on either side of the boat as well for my deep drop gear. 
I've got the galley barbecue hot water sink there, uh, which is fabulous. I've got the, the fridge freezer underneath this side. Um, you've got the, obviously the fantastic window that joins the whole boat up. And then I went with the microwave and the storage here. Uh, I did put a big um, inverter system on it because I do, uh, uh, the boat needs to be connected to shore power. So, um, so I've got a great system. I've got solar cell on the top to charge it when I'm away from uh, obviously the shore power. And, uh, and just kept going forward. Um, I've got the, uh, because I'm off on my own, I did want to make sure that I had uh, mobile reception uh, as often as I could. And so I had on my previous boat, a repeater system for my mobile phone, which I think is a safety measure. And then I found an better one, which I've put on here, and which has been really good. Like, as I say earlier, I can get messages and I can even make phone calls at Browns Mountain, which you know not many people can do without any support uh, to, to boost your signal at all. I went the galley, obviously with the corner galley and two helm chairs because a lot of the time it's just fishing stuff. 90% of this is fishing, fishing related. And then of course I, uh, I put a fair bit of uh, thought into what I wanted on the dash. And uh, I went, uh, you know, Elberger with a lot. There's no doubt with my Furuno fit out. I think, you know, for me, I've had Furuno before, love it. But I've got the 1150, I've got the two uh, TZ Touch 2s. Um, I've got the autopilot, I've got the, the NXT Doppler radar uh, on the roof, I've got the sat compass sitting on top of that, I've got a FLIR camera uh, also for, for nighttime running which is fabulous and the integration of it is, is amazing, you know, it really is and the wiring that sits behind it, uh, it's immaculate, it is immaculate. Yeah, what have I learned about cats and how to drive them? Um, the trim is important, I think. The trim is definitely important. Everyone said that to me before, and that is definitely, there's a reason for that. It's true. Um, so I've found that uh, getting the trim right gets the most out of the hull. Getting air into the hull, I think, is important. And I think that's the root of why people say drive them faster and they go better. And, and it's, the reason for that, I think, is because I'm a novice, but is because you're forcing more air into the tunnel, it lifts the boat. Things that I might change if I had my time again, uh, I would like a rear helm station. I think that would have been good just for those times when I'm on my own. Um, but a lot more money and a lot more complication. And, and so, but you know, if you had your druthers, you might look at that again. Other than that, uh, you know, I think it's pretty good. The f choice of flooring I think is fabulous. I didn't go with the standard flooring. Uh, I went with one of these um, synthetic floors and uh, underfoot fabulous and it doesn't matter you've got fish guts water whatever it's very grippy you're never going to fall over by, by virtue of slipping so uh, covered the whole bow with it as well and i've got it on the roof under the uh, the zimmer frame <laughs>